right, everyone, listen up. I've collated the available information and utilized some reasonable deductions to come up with some information about this place. Let's hear it. First, I'll talk about the crystal cluster. It is anchored at the top of the tunnel, and the smaller crystals are dispersed in the nearby vicinity to gather electricity. Once a sufficient amount of electricity has been gathered, the crystal is transported here. The tunnel is the passageway used to transport said crystal. Everyone following me so far? The main thing that jumps out to me is the break. Although there is still a minute possibility that the crystal was formed naturally, that break was beyond a doubt created by some kind of separate intelligent being. It is not a particularly sophisticated mechanism, but that is beside the point. What's important is its placement inside the crystal cluster. This tells me that this entire process I've just described was intentionally designed by someone, or something, and that crystal being transported is part of that individual's design. Unfortunately, at this point in time, there is no way for us to find out who that someone is. As am I. But we cannot confirm that at this stage. With that being the case, we can only move on to the next question. What on earth is this place? During your reconnaissance mission, did you notice any crystal structures similar to the crystal cluster? Yes, we did. However, they had lost all their luminescence and displayed various cracks and fissures. Look closely at the ground underneath us. There is still a minute afterglow there. Not only do these lines all stem from the crystal cluster, but they all converge at the same spot. Lines? Are they perhaps acting like power lines? Precisely. And you say they're all meeting up at a single point? Yes. The crystals are spread out across a broad area by the crystal cluster and act like tendrils, absorbing electricity and gathering it all to a single point, where we are now. We saw that a crystal the size of a fingernail was able to light up a large neon sign. That's right. Then the electricity stored in that crystal cluster must be unimaginable. Why would they want to gather so much power in one place? What could they be trying to do? What can you do with that much electricity? The real question to ask would be, what couldn't you do with that much electricity? I know you